Michael Chambers, how are you, sir? Good. All right, good, sir. Good, 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 good. So, a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Okay. Tons of stuff. Oh, yeah. Lafette's going to be wide open tomorrow morning. It is the Chambers County Outdoor Expo. Yes. If you've never been over there, that's the Lafette Heights Baptist Church. They're going to have the Big Buck Contest. They're going to have singing. They're going to have uh, food, drawings, a really big time to be had out there. Really? Big. So, uh -huh. it's all right, right there on Highway 77. So, we're looking forward to that. That's going to be big. That should that's be, gonna really, be really, really big. big. Yes. Um, don't forget about uh, uh, Saturday, tomorrow, right? The Lafette alumni, that's a big old deal. Man, if you haven't been out there, it, you need to go. Because oh. it's going to be a lot of people. But, but, but I would get early as opposed to late. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I definitely. Well, that's, that's just the whole whole weekend thing going on from, uh -huh. the, from, the, from the homecoming game tonight. Hopewell United Methodist Church's semi-annual barbecue tomorrow as well. Ooh, Ooh some good chicken so there. there. So, so, I mean, I'm telling you. Lord. There's all kind of stuff. We've got two homecoming games tonight. Lafette and Lynette. Yeah. Lynette coach Clifford Story is uh, going to be ringing me here in about half an hour. And uh, we're going to be catching up. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, their homecoming. Speaking of high school football, you've got the schedule in front of you. All right, I'm going to let you take it because I'm going to start off with Lafette. Lafette's homecoming is against the Horseshoe Bend Generals. Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend. Who's who they're uh, matched up with. Lynette's Lafette. Uh, Lynette is going to be, be playing a Fayetteville team for yeah. their homecoming. Yeah. I would assume that Lynette and Lafette will both be favored pretty heavily in both of those games. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Well, Valley's got Beauregard. That's a tough one for the Rams. We had Buster Daniel in uh, earlier this week, and uh, that's, a, that's a tough out. But you know what? You get better by playing those type of teams. Yep. yep. You get better by playing those 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 type of teams. Yeah. Uh, Springwood, Springwood uh, Tuscaloosa. Springwood's got Tuscaloosa Academy. Uh, Wildcats been kind of struggling. They're a young team too. Yeah. Very young team. Very young. Very young. Chambers Academy. Uh, Crenshaw. The Rebels. Crenshaw. Crenshaw. Okay. Crenshaw Academy. Uh, Jason Allen and the Rebels are <coughs> undefeated on the season. Undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me think here. Beulah. What about our what about Beulah our Bobcats? Played last. It says right here they played last night. They played last night. They may they may have had a Thursday night game on the fifth. Yes, that's yeah, that night. happens a lot. That happens we a lot. Had, we don't have a score line. We need to get our research team on that. Yeah, we yeah. need to get our research our research team on that. See what's going on with Beulah. Uh, um, so I'm thinking on the other side of the hoops. Troop is in action. No, Troop's not. Troop's off tonight. Troop gets ready for LaGrange in a week in their big uh, rivalry game. Troop may win the state championship this year in Georgia 3A. Really? You think that that's strong? Oh God, yes. They beat Sandy Creek 71, and Sandy yeah, Creek was, was, was the heavily favored to win 3A. They, they rolled in like 71 to 16. It was ugly. It was bad. Good it was really ugly. Woo. Troop's got a special season on their hands, so, so that's high school football. Yeah. All right, now let's get into college, and yeah. then after that, we'll get into camp. We'll go up to, we'll go, we'll go. Let's go. Well, I'm going to get into well, it. You're going to get into don't it? You go, oh, don't oh, you, oh, don't I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it, too. I'm going to get into it, too. I'm going to get into camp, too. Uh, the University, University of Pikeville. Point. Okay, that's point. point. Yes. Point, point University of Pikeville. Point, 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 point needs a win. They need to get back on track. Yeah. They've, they've had a, a, a tough couple weeks, uh, and, and they have Pikeville at home, don't they? Yes. Yes. Kick off one thirty from Rainstead. No, 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 wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 no, 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 they're on the oh, road. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Okay, I'm bad. I can't read. They're on the road. All right, they're on the road. <laughs> they're on the road. They've been on the road a lot so far. This they year. have. They have. A lot. They have. Uh, now the SEC. Down between the hedges. Uh huh. Got Ole Miss. Ole Miss and now that's Auburn. 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 Yeah. Right. I'm I'm the hedges. Hedges. Okay, I'm I said the hedges. Okay. I meant the hedges down on Auburn. I'm sorry. All right. So Auburn. Auburn gets Ole Miss. I'm messing up all over there. Auburn gets Ole Miss. What about the tide? The tide rolls up on A and M. A and M. A and M. Mm. That's it. That's it. Hey, that's gonna be. Mm. Mm. It ain't gonna be as bad as last week, I don't think. But I think they'll hang right oh, around hang fifty. As as they want. Right around fifty. They can hang as much as they want. Yeah, true. All right, true. and then uh, Georgia. Georgia between the hedges. between the hedges. Yes, they have Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Okay. Mm. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Right, they, so that's going to be another win for Georgia there. It had to happen. I mean, it had to happen. Vandy. Vandy. You know why? You, you know, you know why everybody's excited about it? Because it's a good storyline. Sure. Dick and Kirby. That's the only storyline the SEC oh, has, right? That, that's the only SEC. That's the only storyline right now in the SEC. Tennessee down. LSU down. Auburn roller coaster ride. That's right. Old yeah. Miss hang it up. A and M 
Summerlin's going to be looking for a job at the end of the year. True. Now, I'm going down marquee SEC programs now. I'm not talking about the bottom of the barrel. Mm -hmm. So the only storyline we have, week five, we've already seen enough to know what we're going to see, mm -hmm. is Georgia Kirby against Nick at Alabama. It's a really cute storyline, but Kirby, sorry. It's not going to happen. That's true. It's not going to happen. Not going Because there's a big difference between Tuscaloosa <clears throat> and Athens. I'm just saying. Huge difference. There's a big difference. So, Huge. But that's the good, but that's a really good storyline that you can build off of. You can you can build that. That's a nice storyline. Yeah. All right. So that's that. <laughs> now let's get into Cam. Now. So let me tell you about Cam Newton. What do you What do you think about what he said? Um. He, did did, you, did okay, you find it offensive to women? Huh? Did you find it offensive to women because Cam was talking about, it sounded funny because a woman was talking well, I would about say this receiving right, I, would say this, I would say this right here to Cam. If you want to, and, and someone told me, well, a woman, you know, she's never ran, ran her out. Well, the last time I checked, neither, neither did Bob Costas. True. The last time I checked, neither did Vern Lundquist. True. The well, last time I checked, <laughs> Vern did not the, run the last around. time I checked, neither did Jim Brown from, you know, Fox yeah. with Howie Long and all them guys. Yeah. And I'm just like saying, if you're going to play the, the disrespect card, then you better be universal about it. That's true. Because that woman went to work just like a true. dude went to work. True. And if you're going to be that way, then just be that way. True. If you're going to be that guy to sit there and saying, I don't respect anybody that didn't play the game, then just go ahead and start throwing the other dudes that didn't play the game in the mix. That's right. That's right. But That's the right. woman it did is, go to work. The it woman is went sexist. to work. It is sexist. Right. It is. It is sexist. I mean, I don't really have a problem with it, but I'm just like, it, Cam. I'm just like, Cam. It is your personality, dude. You're up, and the world is great. When Cam Newton's up, he's dabbing all over the place. He's oh, dancing, yeah. he's smiling, oh, he's yeah. singing. Loving everybody. The world is just perfect, yep. and everybody feeds off of it. But when Cam ooh, is not doing good, down. he's got a problem. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, that's true. And that is me true. is like, Cam, do you not realize that everybody wants you to be good? Oh, yeah. I mean, Cam Newton should... His his persona, he should be the most marketable dude. He should be in football, but in sports, Dannon pulled theirs. Sure, they did. Pulled it quick sure they did, because the last time I checked, women buy younger. Uh, that, that, uh, yeah, <laughs> of course they did. There's a lot more women buying yogurt than guys. I just don't think Cam thinks a lot, and I'm 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 really wondering why that is. I'm pretty sure, in, in our in our group, we don't sit around and and talk about what yoga we eat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not surprised that Dan told it. No, no, I'm not surprised no, at all. No, mm -hmm, no. I mean, I'm not saying he can't get get it back, but I will. Say oh, he will get it. He'll get it back. He'll get it back. Give him a little time. He'll get it back. But he'll pop winning, back because winning it. cures all. There you go. There you go. There you go. Winning cures all. Winning cures all. That's right. So that that happened to Cam Newton yesterday. It's a tough. It's been a tough week. I mean, it's been a tough week. I don't know what he was thinking. I really don't know why he would do that, because Cam's smart. True, true, he is, but I mean, but for a you know a moment's right. Oops, he just he, he he's had just a moment. Oops, he just he just had it. People call that a brain something. Right, I ain't gonna say it. Right on there, but anyway. But, the, but 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 it's not the first time Cam's done this. This type. Well, it's this is the he's he's not ever done it like this. But this is the Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Whenever he was hang, sitting on the sideline with a towel on his head, and oh good right. boy, everybody jumped on him. And I think the problem now, everybody's saying, well, now you're 28. You everybody's saying, well, Cam's young. No, he ain't young anymore. He's not. Well, I mean, he's, he, he, he's, he's, he's old, old enough for seven years. He, he's old enough to. He's he's old enough to know better than that. So that's Cam Newton. But you know what? It's funny. Auburn people are obviously going to be biased towards Cam. Yeah, and most of them are. Yeah. True. Because in, in the Auburn world, or in, the, in any of the college football world around here, what your team does, or the player from your team, it can do no, no wrong. Can do no wrong. It's like if you go and ask the Alabama people about Cam Robinson, well, Cam didn't do anything wrong. That's right. Well, he, he, he kind of did. He kind of did. <laughs> yeah. He had weed and a gun with no permit, which in, in, our, world, wrong. in our world, that gets us arrested. Uh, yes. In his world, in Nick Saban's world, he plays in a week. But I'm just saying... People, people are biased towards their own programs, but but like you said, winning cures all. Winning cures all. That's right. If you're winning, nobody else thought about nobody else thought about gun or We, we are all camera. upset about the National Football League right now, and we are ticked off. Oh yeah, and, and you hear that raise like, down nine percent. Watch what happens. What? But I bet it ain't down for them folks in New England. Oh no. 
not well, I don't know. There's some of them. I seen some of them. That some of them are burning the jerseys and burn their tickets. Now, what's going to happen to the to the to the Pittsburgh Steelers people that burn all their stuff and and Big Ben and them are rolling into the Super Bowl in February? Are they all of a sudden going to be like screw Pittsburgh, or are they going to be like I don't know, man? I don't know. <laughs> you know it's the Super Bowl. Maybe it's, like, oh, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's, maybe right. it's not maybe that it's bad. Right. Maybe it's all right. They did have a veteran on their team. True. You know, but, you know. So I think winning cures all. But 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 the NFL's got a long way to go. I don't know. I was going to say it's got a long way to go because even even I, mm-hmm. I'm an avid, avid avid Sunday watching some NFL. But but, but you don't want to watch it. Haven't watched them since. I know a lot of people like. I'm that. two weeks. Doomsday. Start having little withdrawals, but I'm okay. Doomsday for the NFL is coming up on Veterans Day. That's where the rubber meets Ooh. the road. Oh, that's going to be. That's where the rubber meets the road, right there. It's going to be like, what are you going to do? Yeah. What are you, you going to do now? To me, that's what that's what it's all about. Oh, and the, and the, and the head offices, they're already walking on tax on that one. They're, yeah, oh. they're, they're, they're nervous because they're like, we have to get this right. Yeah. If we don't, we're going we're gonna to have a bad day. Oh, yeah. A really bad day. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh. Um, more sports news. The Board of Trustees met Tuesday in Auburn, which means it's over for Jack. He could he could be let go. H- hadn't heard anything yet, though. Not yet. It's like that middle of the night type of thing when they make that, that decision. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, okay, by the way, yeah. uh, here's a press conference. Uh, we have relieved Jack Jacobs of his duties. And that's the way it goes. But the board met. So we know what's gonna happen. We know it. We know. We know. Yeah. What, what's what's gonna happen? I mean, I've heard other athletic. I've heard they've got to cut their athletic ties. Athletic director at Miami mm-hmm. sniffing around too about a possible you know opening. Yeah, it was another one too. There, there, there was oh. another one. I can't remember. I want to say Connecticut, but I can't. Yeah, I mean, UConn. It's, it's, UConn. 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 Yeah. All right, UConn. So I can't believe they're gonna give it to Tubby. Huh? Can't believe they're gonna give it to Tubbyville. I don't know. It depends. The board is the only voice that matters. And maybe they're thinking we need somebody with some, you know, more experience. Yeah, true. Than, than what Tubbs brought to the table. Yeah, yeah. But Nothing too. It, and a lot of people love Tuberville, but, but the ending at Auburn didn't yeah, necessarily still go got, still got a sour taste in your mouth. A little ending. bit. Yeah. But we'll see. I know one thing. Jay, Jay, Jay Jacobs will not be there next year. No way. I, I don't know. I, I just can't see it. Mm-mm. If he if he comes out of this unscathed, no, there's no way. We want to start calling him Teflon. There's no way because he doesn't stick fact, I would if if I was the guy at Miami or UConn, I I wouldn't I wouldn't jump on board with this job because it's going to be bad for you too. Oh, it's going it, it's going to be bad. You you're going okay, to have it's to not gonna, really no no oh absolutely mm. not. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh, you better park it in UConn and stay in Miami and South Beach. <laughs> Because yeah. the last time I checked, they didn't have a softball scandal that was about to blow up that in Miami or in Connecticut. Well, that that'd be the only way that you know that would be good for them because that would kind of deflect it right. more from the university if they went ahead and got rid of it. I would say Auburn going, and had somebody new. I'm gonna say Auburn going forward would need someone that's like, you know what? I'm gonna take this challenge. I got this. That's right. I'm gonna write the ship. I got this. How many how many women are upset? That's right. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> we can handle it. We can, no, okay, okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm tired of Miami too. Why would somebody leave Miami? Why would somebody, why would somebody, somebody, somebody in their Miami? right mind? Why would somebody leave an athletic director gig in Miami and now Mark Rick's down there to go to Auburn and take over that? Uh, you, you, mm, Come on. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh-uh. I mean, because it, uh, I'm not going to say that you have got to have coaching that produces, but yeah, this is the SEC. Well, you gotta win in every sport. In every sport, every uh, swimming. You got you got. To, that's no problem. We got that. But I mean, swimming is actually swimming is actually right up there. It, it probably in the, it's it's easily it's probably the top three. Oh yeah, at Auburn right now, easily top three. Yeah. Oh, no they 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 actually have a resume of winning. Yeah. I mean, they got you know, national championship after okay. national championship. And this, and, but I mean, until the softball know. scandal, everybody said, well, softball was, oh, the, softball. Was, oh, yeah. was, softball the, was, was it. the cash cow at Auburn. Oh, yeah. Really Underneath, did. obviously, football. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, you went to the softball stadium, you went to the football stadium, yeah. there's a slight difference. There you go. <laughs> Crazy talk. 
Um, there was, I heard about this yesterday. Now, I hadn't heard more details on it. They said there was a big old fight at Zaxby's fight at Zaxby's. Wednesday night. Really? Throwdown. That's what I'm talking about. Really? Yeah, one of those, like, you know, old old school type of things. I hadn't heard. I'm not in the know. You know, you know, you know, you know back when someone would say, well, I'm not either. I just hear things. <laughs> someone would say, you know, I'll meet you outside. You know, one, oh, of, yeah. the, one, one, of, one of them guys. You going outside. Where, where are we going to do this at? Exactly. There needs to be more more of that instead right. of what's happening. Sure. I mean, because nowadays people are scared to take a butt whooping. That's what it is. They get, you were so right. You were they so get right. disrespected uh, to take a butt whooping. Yeah. Which we all took butt whooping. Right. He once said, or twice. He said, man, you better not. Man, Just you, you, you do better, it and be done with it. You better not walk away and turn your back. That's right. I mean. Mm. So I heard about that. Um, also got reports last night that there was a really bad wreck between King, the King exit, and uh, Casita. Really? But I don't have any details on it yet. They said traffic was backed up. Uh, now, I late, heard about the one late last night. I heard about the one down closer to Opelika with a fatality. With an that was ejection, was that, ejection was that yesterday? Fatality. Yes, late okay. yesterday. Yes. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was more closer to what, 62 or? Yes. Okay, okay. 60, yeah, somewhere right down okay. 58 to 60. Hey, look, man, I'm going to tell you something, man. That dog going to interstate, could head, headed towards uh, Opelika, yeah. to start at 62, yeah. is getting rough. The, you know, it's you didn't rough. realize how many accidents were there until you, the state put the guide wires up. Once they put those guide wires up, and you right. go out there and you see all the bent poles and the, and the tape flying, yeah. you know, where they need to replace poles and stuff. Like that. I mean, mm -hmm. then you realize how many wrecks are right in that little area. Ooh. And there is a ton of, ton of wrecks. I mean, like you said, between the between the 62 and the time you get out of Auburn, you better watch out. You better watch out. You, now, once I you mean, get it's, past, you know, now it's once rough. You, once you get past 51 or even 50 and you head towards Montgomery, yeah. smooth sailing. Just shooting right on there. There ain't no, nothing no going on down there. No. Nothing. Oh. No. Wow. But that that ten miles, you better watch out. You better you better yeah. you'll be on your toes. Keep your head on a swivel. Put it? your put your phone <laughs> up, people. <laughs> Keep your head on a swivel. That's right. That's right. You, All right. So um, let me tell you about yesterday, real real quick. Went to Lafette. Big homecoming parade. I heard it was it huge. Up. It was off the chain. Um, we're gonna post that video uh, a little bit later on today. Oh, of the yeah. parade homecoming for the Lafette Bulldogs. I wasn't, was I wasn't able to come, but I, oh, I, I really want to see that video. It was great. It was great. Because the like video. Casey was talking about, Casey, yeah. Cam, Casey yeah. Chandler was talking about about the about the boards and stuff they've done with they the did paper. Did, was it was it as as uh, unique as he said? It, it was good. Standards. It was good. Yeah. Any any class could have won. Really? Any class could have won. Who won? You can take. Oh, it's you know, everybody. It's controversial. Oh no! It's oh, yes, controversial. It is. It's very controversial because it's never happened before. It's never happened. The freshman class won. The freshman. The freshman. Look at that. With their checkerboard float. And a lot of folks was like, oh, there's no way this is right. Any class could have won. The freshman did checkers. The sophomore did connect four. The juniors did monopoly. The seniors did Candyland. Any of those classes could have won. They were that good. It was tough. Wow. I had them judged. They were within a point. Really? They were, yeah, they were within a point. The freshmen won. The seniors have never lost. Whoa. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I mean, the judges went there, filled out their little scorecard, and buddy, they skipped town. Really? They don't, they don't need that. The judges skipped town. All, they packed up and ready to go. The judges had packed up right when we, you know, all right, everybody, Gave me the score sheets. No, they didn't. I could turn it in. You were the. I was the lame sacrificial duck. Sacrificial lamb. I was the lame duck, and I had to turn it in. And then I just saw the look, and it was just like, hmm. Now we got to explain to the seniors that the freshman beat them for homecoming vote. That's controversial, Ooh, right there. That is. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Woo. That's speaking that's of parades. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of parades, Lynette's got theirs today at 2, pep rally at 1. Clifford Story will be joining the program here very shortly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, huge, huge weekend coming up. Yeah. Don't for, uh, also want to tell you, I was going to say don't forget, but it's happened last night. But uh, Also, don't forget. also uh, the Hughley Elementary Fall Festival last night, boy, that was a turnout. Really? Yes. 
I, I, I heard it was the headliner. Was it? Yes, and, and and it was serious business. It was a great fundraiser. I got that video coming up later on today too. I heard some horror stories about a about a hayride. I heard a <laughs> <laughs> somebody couldn't drive a track before I understand I I it. All I knew was old boy was going in circles. Really? I mean, he was really going in circles. I thought it was a crop duster for a second. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I, did, I, did, I did, I did, I was like, what? Like, oh, that's so much fun, too. Well, that's all that matters. I mean, like, spin me in a circle That's, that's what it's for. Spin me in a circle again. Yeah, that's right, that's See? right. And then the adults is like, what's that's going on with kids is having a ball. That's too much. That's, that's all that matters. All right, coming up next, Clifford Story, head coach of your Levitt Panthers, joins the Living in the Valley. So the polka dot box in West Point, well, to be honest, they got everything. They do. Yeah. They got everything. Whatever you're looking for, for the ladies, if you're looking for blouses, uh, dresses, accessories, they got you. Not just, not just hey, for the ladies. Not just for the ladies. You got Yeti's cup. I like Yeti's cups wear too. Let's not sleep on that now. Oh, don't forget about that. I'm sorry. The Yeti tumblers. That's right. Got it going on. West Point. You can find them on Facebook, Polka Dot Box. Right across the street. And they have deals, too. They're not afraid to put something on a sale. They had, no. What was it? 75%? I had 67 percent last week. Last week, yeah. Good. Amen. The Polka Dot Box in West Point. Your connection to getting hooked up. Let's talk about the Fairview Clubhouse. Events, uh, weddings, birthdays, reunions, reunions, birthdays. Everything. They got it going on just down from the old Fairview Mill. You can call Peggy Thompson at 334-756-7000. Book it today. Strong. How about Chandler's Tradition? Are you a fan of pepper jelly? Ooh, do you like it? Pepper jelly. Do you like it? What if I was? What if? What, what if we just rolled out a plate of crackers and, and pepper, pepper some jelly pepper with jelly some cream it. cheese? Man, son, you can, they that, just, there you they go. Got it That's Saturday, right there for you. Old girl will make it. She will deliver it to you, and she can get you hooked up on everything. Chrissy Chandler. Chrissy. I'm calling her Chrissy Chandler because she is a Chandler. It's Chrissy Penny. <laughs> Chrissy <I'm sorry>. Penny. <laughs> she knows I got love for it. So anyways, Chrissy Finney, Champions Tradition, find her on Facebook and get that pepper jelly. You'll thank me later. That's right. Valley Pharmacy, have you noticed the weather's getting cooler? Have yes, you, I have. have. Have you noticed that a little bit? Thank well, you. Well, don't wait till it's too late. Get that flu and pneumonia shot because you don't want to be rolling around early December coughing, hacking, Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. Do yourself a favor. Get it today. Craig, Angie, Matt, and that wonderful staff over there will get you hooked up. And they're delivery. Delivery. They do deliver. Thank you for that. Yes. They, they do a delivery. AJ, I get in that van, deliver it right there to you. That's right. Valley Pharmacy in Langdale, because there's two folks in the valley. Those that are from Langdale and those that want to be from Langdale. How about D Tech Computer Services? Dusty Howe. Have you noticed that Dusty? Uh, makes house calls. Does the, Have you noticed that? Yes. Yes. He is always in the road. Always in the road. He oh. ain't afraid to do it. No. Saves me many, many times. If you got a Dell, if you got a Mac, call D Tech. I'm sorry. He will do anything. He'll work he on will. anything. He will. I brought an Atari to him last week and he fixed it. An Atari? No, I didn't. But I could. Oh, okay. He, he could fix it. If, if I still had my Atari. And it was not working properly. He, he would could, fix it. He would, he, he would fix it. Yes. And that's just so easy to call. 706-773-8099. That's right. Wow. D-Tech. All over it, man. All right. Um, also, I want to talk to you about a few other people that's going to be coming on board with us. All right. All right. Johnson Brown Funeral Home. Johnson Brown. Quietly there when needed. Absolutely. Service in Valley and Lynette. And by the way, if you want to become our latest sponsor, by all means, shoot us an email, media at GatorKK.com. Lynette Panthers head coach Clifford Story joins us uh, on the podcast today. Coach, homecoming, we're excited about it? We are. We're very excited about it. You know, the last year, the um, alumni of Lynette High School got together and started wanting to make homecoming a big deal, and right. so they have put a lot into it, so we're excited. I am too. Your team's playing really well. We are. I mean, I mean really good. Um, everything I thought we were going to be, you know, because I had high expectations going into the season, right. obviously, you know. Uh, everybody did, yourself included, um, but they played well. They have. They played really well. They have. We, we've had um, a great senior class who's shown a lot of leadership, and they're hungry. Right. Um, I think they still have a little bad taste in their mouth from the semifinal loss to Fife. Uh, and they put in the work over the spring and over the summer to put themselves back in position to be able to face them again. So we're excited. Uh, we're just going to keep moving forward. Look, we're halfway. We're about halfway at the 
at the halfway point. Right. You always want to kind of say, well, do you like where your team is? Obviously, we do. I mean, we're undefeated right now. Right. Um, how do you feel about your, where your team is right now and then maybe going forward? Well, um, I'm very pleased because I've seen improvement each game. Right. Um, we have um, minimized our penalties. Which that was a big thing. And uh, we're, we're starting to – to get on a little roll, um, I don't want to peak too early, sure. um, but we are taking steps in the right direction toward peaking. So I told him in practice this week, we practiced real well. Uh, right. And I said, I hope this is an indication that it's going to show on Friday. Um, but I'm, I'm very pleased. Um, my son is getting better at quarterback. Yes. Um, our running game is, is beginning to pick up. Our offensive line is starting to gel. And that was my um, – main concern coming into the season because we were so young on the line. I only had two guys that had played offensive sure, line. Yeah, that's right. But um, they're coming into their own. Coach McCants and Coach Siegel are doing a great job getting them prepared. Yeah. Um, you lost. I mean, I mean, that was one thing. Uh, of all the uh, – of this great class you had returning, Long, Terry on Truett, uh, et cetera, but you lost a lot on yeah. the line, you know, last year they graduated. We did. We did. We had a um, – a large uh, line with uh, Trayvon Mathis mm -hmm. and Makai Potts and um, uh, Andalier's Lord right. and those guys who was who was had been starting three years, uh, and so they only have Sean um, Tristan Meadows to come back and the Terry Young Glaze, and then you know we got three babies across there. But right. <laughs> you know they had to grow up fast and they have accepted the challenge and they're doing what we asked them to do. All right, um, tonight you got a Fayetteville uh, team. What do we know about Fayetteville? Well, um, they're they're in a rebuilding year. All right. Um, they lost a lot last year also. Um, last year they was very competitive. Uh, we only beat them, I think, like 42-28. Mm -hmm. um, they gave us fits with a lot of different formations and some things that they were doing. Um, but um, um, this year they start out with a win, and then they've lost the last uh, four. But um, Coach uh, Lombard is a great coach. Um, I've had to compete against him um, before. So I know he'll have his kid prepared to play. Right. And you know how it is when you play a team from homecoming, they get him a little edge. Sure. So, you know, we're going to have to come out and play. You're going to have to come out and play. Final question, um, can we see a lot more going down the road that uh, Ken Ken to Long connection? Yeah, um, we will. Um, the thing that I'm trying to get him to understand also, which is Long, you know, as a 6'6", as a six, six, uh, two-time All-State receiver who also – um, got selected to the Alabama Mississippi All Star game right. yesterday. He found out, so that's awesome. That is awesome. Right. That um, is recognition awesome. for him and the school. Sure. Yes. Um, but I'm getting what happening is with him is um, they're they're triple and double teaming him. So that's what opening up the other guys to be able to make catches now. Like D Dog caught that 56 yard against right. Hanley, and right. Terry on Truett is in the slot making a lot of big plays and. Um, Triquez Bridges caught a 93 yard touchdown last week. So Triquez has played really good. This yes, year. he I, has. I, I mean, they, I mean, because we've had. We've only how many home games have we had this year? This right? this going to be the third. The third, right? Yeah. The two games I've been there, Bridges has been really dynamite. Yes, he has. He he's has. You know, he's a four star, one of the top safeties in the country. Yeah. Uh, and so he's showing it, and I always challenge him and push him um, right. on what they need to do. But um, going back to Lone um, Pollard, it, it it helping us out. You know, I know his catches are down right now, but yet and still it opening up for everybody else to make plays. So I told him, I said, now they're going to have to come off you, and then they're going to open your game back up. That's right. So Long's a home run hitter. No doubt. He's a home run hitter. No doubt. Good. No doubt. I, I, I tell you about, I said something about Long that just for me watching what limited I've seen, he's, he's coming out a lot quicker yes. than I can remember. Yes. He, I know that's him putting in the work. It is. Season. It is. Because I told him, I said, let me let me tell you the difference between Mississippi State and Alabama State. I said, the difference is, I said, you got to be more explosive. You right. got to come out your brakes quicker. I said, you can't push off. You got to go up and get the ball out of their hands. And he's done it. Yeah. Um, he, You know, he went across the middle and made a lot of big catches um, this year on post routes. And those are the things that he got to do. So, you know, he, he's doing what we asked him to do. We'll, right. we'll, he'll right. find he the ball. Is, he's, your eyes are always on him. No doubt, you now, can't help it. You, you can't help it. But, I'm, but, but but you know what? So when when Bally, this is this is the true story. I'm about to tell a true story about Lynette and Bally. Go ahead. Someone uh, April Ross <laughs> had asked me. April Ross had asked me who did I like in the game, right? And I and I rolled. I said I said I like Lynette 28 14. I said Terry on True is going to be the game changer. I've seen enough. Right. Terry on True is a, is is what we call big game. Big game. The biggest game you're always going to see. 
number two. The no doubt, oh, no did. doubt. I mean, he's he's fast as lightning, and he and the is. thing about it is he has game speed. If we ran the forty time, he would not be the fastest on the team, but he the fastest on the field. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Yeah. So that yeah, that makes it. Lights come on. It, it yes. goes on. It's a yes. world. It is. It's it's and is world. He is. He's. He's the deal. Oh, no doubt. I, lo- I love watching no Terry Truett play. Who? But, you. But, you know, all, all that goes you. back to you lying. Oh, there's no doubt. They're the unsung heroes. Everybody always talks about quarterback, receivers, running backs. Right. You ain't got that line. Yeah. yeah. They, they, and people run into the line. And people don't see it because they, you know, they're hand in the dirt and, oh, you know, yeah. they're, they're oh, in the yeah. trenches and they're, they're not they're not flashy. That's right. But that's right. they're getting I mean, it done. Hey, that's, that's great. Lions that playing good. Great. All right, look, uh, game time for is at 8. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Uh, pep rally at Lynette is one parade at 2. That's right. It's a big day for Lynette. Yeah, great Lynette day. Coach Clifford Story joins the program. That's All it. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you, man. I appreciate yes, you having us. So the polka dot box in West Point. Well, to be honest, they got everything. They do. Yeah. They got everything. Whatever you're looking for, for the ladies, if you're looking for blouses, uh, dresses, accessories, they got you. Not just, not just for the ladies. Not just for the ladies. Yeah, Yeti's Cup. I like Yeti's Cup somewhere, too. Let's not sleep on that now. Well, don't forget about that. I'm sorry. The Yeti tumblers. That's right. Got it going on. West Point. You can find them on Facebook, Polka Dot Box. Right across the street. And they have deals, too. They're not afraid to put something on a sale. Oh, they had new. What was it? Seventy five. I had six five seventy percent last week. Last week, yeah. Good. Hey, man, the Polka Dot Box in West Point. Your connection to getting hooked up. Let's talk about the Fairview Clubhouse events, man. Uh, weddings, birthdays, reunions, 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 birthdays. Everything. They got it going on just down from the old Fairview Mill. You can call Peggy Thompson at three three four seven five six seven thousand. Them book it today. How about Chandler's tradition? Are you a fan of pepper jelly? Ooh, do you like it? Pepper jelly. Do you like it? What if I was? What if? What, what if we just rolled out a plate of crackers and some pepper, some pepper jelly with some on cream it. cheese? Man, son, you can. They there you go. They got it going That's on. Saturday, right there, please. Old girl will make it. She will deliver it to you, and she can get you hooked up on everything. Chrissy Chandler. Chris, I'm calling her Chrissy Chandler because she is a Chandler. It's Chrissy Chandler. <laughs> Chrissy <sorry. Finney. laughs> She knows I got love for it. So, anyways, Chrissy Finney, Champions Tradition, find her on Facebook and get that pepper jelly. You'll thank me later. That's right. Valley Pharmacy, have you noticed the weather's getting cooler? Have yes, you, I have. have. Have you noticed that a little bit? Thank well, you. Well, don't wait till it's too late. Get that flu and pneumonia shot because you don't want to be rolling around early December coughing, hacking. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. Do yourself a favor. Get it today. Craig, Angie, Matt, and our wonderful staff over there will get you hooked up. And they're delivery. delivery they do deliver. Thank you for that. Yes. They, they do a delivery. AJ, and get in that van, deliver it right there to you. That's right. Valley Pharmacy in Langdale, because there's two folks in the valley. Those that are from Langdale and those that want to be from Langdale. How about D-Tech Computer Services? Dusty Howe. Have you noticed that Dusty uh, makes house calls? Dusty. Have you noticed that? Yes. Yes. He is always in the road. Always in the road. Oh. He ain't afraid to do it. No. Saved me many, many times. If you got a Dell, if you got a Mac, call D-Tech. I'm sorry. He will do anything. He'll work on anything. He will. I brought an Atari to him last week and he fixed it. An Atari? No, I didn't, but I could. Uh, Oh, okay. He he could fix it. If if I still had my Atari and it was not working properly. He he would fix it. He would would fix it. Yes. And that's just so easy to call. 706-773-8099. D-Tech, all over it, man. All right. Um, also, I want to talk to you about a few other people that's going to be coming on board with us. All right. All right. Johnson Brown Funeral Home. Johnson Brown. Quietly there when needed. Absolutely. Service in Valley and Lynette. And by the way, if you want to become our latest sponsor, by all means, shoot us an email, media at Okay. So that's going to wrap things up for us. We're coming back on Monday. We're going to have my good friend Tracy, the Point University uh, female basketball coach, and some of the basketball players. They're going to join the podcast on Monday. Good thing. Another Tracy, uh, Tracy Bandy, who is running for West Point City Council, will be on the program Wednesday. No, Tracy. That election's coming up um, early, the first, the first Tuesday in November. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be getting all about West Point politics coming up. It's going to be an exciting week we got coming up. Y'all have a good weekend. We'll do a full recap of those high school football games as well. Till we meet again, this is Michael and Gator Reversal signing off.